Yo, everyone, it is time to keep the ball rolling. Feel me? And what we're working on right now is exercise 7.3, as you can see right there on the screen. Okay? And if you haven't yet seen what is it we're working on, this is it right here. You're gonna have to stomp. You're gonna have to stop being a bum ass motherfucker if you wanna if you want your programming skills to get improved. So here's what I wa so here's what I suggest you do. Get your own PDF for this textbook right here. Before even continuing with this video, right? Because if you don't, I can assure you one thing and that is you ain't gonna gain shit out of this thing. What you gotta do, you gotta make sure that you give it a try through these exercises prior to checking them out, okay? That's gonna be it. Enough with those. I mean, enough with legal lectures. Right now, let us jump on to this exercise on hand. And I can assure you, it is one of those fun things that will work with okay as you can see we've got two asterisks so we got to write a program that reads the integers between 1 and 100 and counts the occurrences of each assume the input ends with 0 okay so here's a sample run blah 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 okay so 2 occurs okay, 2 times Three occurs one time, so on and so forth. Okay, know that if a number occurs more than one time, okay, the plural word times is used in the output. Okay. Okay, we good, we good, we good, we good. Okay. So here's the deal. So here's the game plan. What we wanna do? We wanna create a scanner. We then wanna create an in an array of integers okay immediately after that we, that's where we're gonna get onto the core of this exercise okay let me do it enough talking for now let's jump on do it system throughout the print without a t of course So this is the array I was talking about earlier on, you guys. Of course, it is hard. It has got to have a uh, hundred elements, okay? What else? What else do I want to do? I want to go prompt a goddamn user to enter. numbers okay and I'm gonna do so right away without any fair do okay answer the in answer the integers integers between one and 100 you know what you guys what I'm going to do I'm going to go for the do I loop okay and I'm not going to go into I don't feel like I've got a divine myself why am I taking that as a choice because I've been doing that a ton of times when I was actually working on exercise I mean on chapter what chapter was it it doesn't matter anyway the point is when I was actually working on loops I've been uh, explaining myself as of uh i mean as to 
why pick uh one loop over the other okay so i'm not gonna go down that path at the moment i'll simply give out a solution for me mm. Okay, I wanna keep reading. I wanna keep reading numbers as long as the current number is in zero. now it should make sense to you why did i decided to go for a do i loop okay so current number is equals to scanner dot next int so if current number current number oops 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 okay let me talk about the reason why i decided to have that numbers array in the first place the reason for that you see each and every element will actually contain the number of will actually represent the number of occurrences for that particular index for instance index 0 which is going to be our first okay index 0 will correspond to our first element okay so at index 0 if we've got number like 5 that will imply that 0 has occurred 5 times on our sequence of numbers right likewise for any number n between 0 and for any i mean for any uh index n between 0 and 100 that index will actually i mean that position slash index will correspond to the element which will contain the number of occurrences for that particular index if you lost wait a sec you fool me what do i mean okay if current number is not zero what do i want to do this is the crucial part everyone okay we want to go numbers uh, numbers at what at current nope 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 seems like um that'll... oh yeah yeah at current number minus one i wanna increment that number at that position i'll keep doing this okay this is gonna be the only thing that is required of us and then finally once this loop is done what we want to do is to display this part right here okay the bottom part the one that tells us the frequency for a given number okay so that's why i'll simply go numbers dot length i plus plus please you guys make sure that you don't watch all of my videos what you want to do is to check out is to take a look at one or two of them and then want to grasp the concepts you do things on your own you guys matter of fact you only want to check out at most five videos right i mean that should do it not unless you dumb as fuck right but that should do it if you want i mean that should do it five videos should be enough 
in order to wrap your head around any concepts okay but it is entirely up to you what you want to do but i dare you not to copy and paste my solutions you guys and i don't want to go into the details why is that okay but please you guys do not copy my solutions learn from them instead okay if numbers at i is not zero then we know we've got to use the plural system dot out dot print We wanna go I plus one or okay's okay's what it occurs numbers it I times it occurs oh 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 it occurs oh okay the idea is we're checking if numbers that i is not equals to zero we're doing this because we don't want to take care of numbers that did not apply that did not exist on our user input okay so Mm, we wanna go it okay so many times number z i now question is do we have to use the word times or time okay <coughs> uh sorry guys i had to sneeze okay so what i want to do is to uh check if this is one immediately we know we've got to use the word time otherwise we'll go times I missed the one there. Okay. What else? What else? What else? That's gonna be it, you guys. Let's hit the run button and see what we get. I wanna put the exact numbers they gave us here. Okay. stupid ass machine it can be slow sometimes you know immediately i'm done with this let's check out the next example ah oh, it's not that bad 7.4 isn't that bad this is the textbook you guys in case you didn't know oops 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 seems like we have a working solution check this out the only mistake i made had to do with the fact that i missed those spaces there okay you see you guys are getting the exact thing that we want I don't know if I should give out another solution or what. I don't know. I'll see. Oh, you know what? I am not going to. This is pretty straightforward. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing for me to play around with. Okay, so there is why I'll simply jump on to exercise. I'm supposed to do 7.4, but I don't know. I'll get back to it. I'll jump 
upon to 7.5 let's check out 7.4 first and I go write a program that read unspecified number of scales and determine how many scores are above or equal to an average and how many scores are below the average or and so negative number do signify the end of the input seems like now we good you guys i'll see you on the next solution again feel free to let me know in case i messed up somewhere somehow i am no machine it is possible it is possible for me to make mistakes people are prone to mistakes so please you guys give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up or whatever okay as long as this whole idea for this channel is gonna be indirective rather than me having to feel like i'm on this thing on my own okay you guys gonna have to interact with me okay so that's gonna be it you guys for this tutorial i'll see you on the next one